I just, you know, do a quick run through of my past week or so. I think it's been a better week. I haven't really updated a lot except for like random videos of me not talking. <laughs> you know, some of me sleeping, some of me crying, you know. It's just a whole lot of the. I'll probably get into most of it, so don't worry. Last Friday, I went to Larry's house. We were just hanging around, um, watching The Crow, which I actually really like. I've never seen The Crow before. Let's see, Saturday I worked all day. And I was really tired because I didn't get home until like, you know, 3 o'clock the morning before, or the night before, whatever. Um, after work though, my friend, um, my friend Warren, he actually just got back from training for a little bit uh, for the army, and he's home for a little bit. And he came back and we all hung out at his place. I don't wanna hurt you, you don't wanna hurt me. I can't stand you and you can't stand me. We can't rearrange, you could never change me. Say goodbye, nothing I say could change your mind because I can't stay. I really missed him, he's such a cool kid. Biggest mistake of his life was going into the army though. I kept telling him he shouldn't do it, but you know. Of course, no one listens to me. <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I brought my friend Carol in there, and um, Carrie and, and Jess were there too, and hang, we just hung out and played pool and drank a little bit and stuff. Larry actually, um, I, was, I was talking to Larry, and he kind of wanted to come over too. And the place I was at was like a half hour away from my house. Larry was actually in Maryland the whole day um, with his family. And that's like two hours away. And he um, actually drove all the way home and Google mapped like where I was and everything and came out to see me for like an hour or two or something and I thought that was really cute. <laughs> he drove all the way out there for me. <laughs> On Sunday I slept like all day. I got home at about 3 I guess. Again. <laughs> Sunday night I went to one of my favorite bars in town with Larry and my friend Chris. We were just drinking and having a good time, and um, then all of a sudden, I get this phone call from Dave. We've been kind of having a, I don't know, it's been kind of weird lately. Like my dating and, I don't know, it just hasn't been going, like the whole friendship thing has just been getting really weird and uncomfortable, I guess, for both of us. And I was talking to him and I was like, where are you? And he said that he was at the same bar that I was at. <laughs> I was like, oh. Damn it, are you kidding? He was actually in the lower level of the bar that I was in, and um, he decided he wanted to come up and say hi. And I was there with my new boyfriend. That was probably one of the most awkward moments of my life. He sat down at the booth that I was at with Larry and Chris. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was just that was just a whole lot of awkward. Um, well, after that, um, his two friends actually came up. Uh, for they were both downstairs also, and they came up and sat at the bar upstairs. I just kept like drinking and drinking. I was just wanted to, like the awkwardness to go away. It did eventually. So, but yeah, we all started hanging out, and um, I mean it got less awkward as everyone started talking. Like Larry started becoming friends with Dave's friends, which I don't think Dave was very happy about. But I think he eventually kind of got used to it, or he got drunk. I'm not really sure which one came first. I'll be on my way So don't expect to find me sleeping in my bed Cause when you wake up I won't be there I won't be there Yeah, <laughs> so I drank a whole lot that night uh, Monday, I was extremely hungover like all the way into like the afternoon hours. I had a few doctor's appointments that day. 
which were fun, so much fun. <laughs> um, one involving the lady doctor, which I just felt completely violated. I hate going to that doctor so much. If any girls are watching this, you know what I mean. It's just, ugh. And, and ow, and, and that's the best way I can describe it. I just slept a lot, I guess, on Monday. Monday night, apparently I didn't learn my lesson from Sunday night, and I went out again Monday night with Chris and, and Larry. And we went to this this little known bar um, in town that you have to be a member to go there. Chris and I actually became members Monday night. We're, we're the newest members. <laughs> It was, it was just fun. We played pool. Well, I tried to play pool. I mostly watch. I don't like playing pool because I always make a fool of myself. I don't know how to hold the stick thing. It makes everything really difficult. Um, but yeah, we just, you know, drank, had a good time. Uh, I got home. Actually, I got home relatively early that night. Like, two. <laughs> And that's when I made that, um, that video blog of me crying. Larry was kind of making me a little upset. Um, I don't know, it's kind of personal and everything, and just having to do with his past, like, a more recent past relationship and how that ended and how it's really difficult for him to get close to people, which I understand, well, I don't understand his situation, but I can understand how that can be a lot, like, really difficult, and I just got really, really upset, and i kind of fallen for him, so I didn't want to really, well, I did want to, but, like, I knew the situation he came from, and I knew it was going to be complicated, and I knew it was going to be difficult, but for some reason I like to live in this, like, this, like, imaginary land where everything's perfect, and he likes being with me, and he likes everything, like, that we are and everything, but it's just so difficult, and that was, it was, it was hard to hear, but after, after that night I think we got better. I think we're okay. I mean, we're, like, the relationship's still progressing, and I still really like him and everything, and I like where it's going. And hopefully it will continue. <laughs> Tuesday, I slept a lot again. I've had this habit about of going um, out at night until, like, all hours of the morning, and then sleeping all day, and then going out again the next night. Went out again Tuesday night. I went to another bar in town, and, then, and Courtney actually came home, and, and she hung out with us for a little bit, and it was a lot of fun. So it was like the foursome of us. And <laughs> I love the four of us together, it's just like a lot of fun. And they're good people, they're not like, you know, dramatic, over bitchy, whatever. They're all good people, so, good. That was, that was Tuesday night, I went out again Tuesday night, I got home like, three again. And, uh, all of Wednesday I slept, blah blah blah, same old story. I decided I'm not going to drink Wednesday night, which I did not. Um, I actually went out to the diner with, uh, with Larry around like 10 or something. He's kind of going through a tough time right now and he kind of wanted to not be home. So I was like, hey diner, you know? <laughs> so we talked for a while and um, decided to go back to his place and watch... What did we watch? Oh, we watched Transformers because I'd never seen it and I really like Transformers. <laughs> I used to watch the, the cartoon um, growing up because I grew up with my brothers and they were all into it and I was like, okay, I'm into it too. That was Wednesday night. I've not gone to sleep before 3 o'clock, like, in more than a week. I, I'm like, seriously, it's, it's been kind of sad. <laughs> a lot of fun, but kind of sad. <laughs> um, it's almost 9 o'clock on Thursday night, and I have nothing to do. So I'm making a video blog and updating all this so that I don't have to worry about it later, I guess. Let's see if I actually get to sleep before 3 tonight. I'm thinking no, but it was just me. <laughs> Yeah. Bye. <laughs>